Hello, this is Rupinder Sial and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. So far, we have discussed three different techniques to map the transcription start site as well as end sites. These are primer extension assay, S1 nuclease mapping, as well as RNA's protection assay. But the gold standard or the most preferred technique, if you can afford it and if you can apply it in the lab, is called rapid amplification of cDNA ends or RAIS. It can be helpful to determine both the 5' end of an mRNA and as well as the 3' end of an mRNA. So let's see what the race is all about. Now we will discuss the race in terms of determining the 5' end as well as the 3' end. Let's discuss first how the 5' end can be determined by using this technique. Here you have your mRNA. This is the mRNA part along with the poly A tail. You design a primer. This is called the 5RT for reverse transcriptase. And this is close to the 5' end of the mRNA so that you want to get pretty close to the 5' end. Now what you will do is you will synthesize the cDNA. This will be synthesizing the negative strand of the cDNA. And after cDNA synthesis is done, you will remove excess primer. So you have cDNA hybridized to your mRNA. You will digest the RNA so that it is gone. And now you will use terminal transferase along with DATP to label the 3' end of the negative strand of the cDNA that you have just made with A residues. Okay, so now you have a single stranded cDNA with 3' A residues, poly A. In the next step, you will use some restriction enzymes which are rare cutters, rare cutter restriction enzymes along with a bunch of T residues which will bind to your multiple poly A residues which you have just added to the negative strand and then it will lead to the formation of the plus strand of the cDNA okay so this will form a double stranded DNA product which will have T's at the you write it in white these these will have T's in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction and a lot of A's in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction. So this is your DNA. Okay. Now you will denature it and you will anneal another primer which is called the 5 prime amplification primer or the gene specific primer and it will hybridize very close to the 5 prime end of the mRNA okay and now you will extend it okay using the plus strand as your template okay and this will lead to a truncated negative strand because this will not amplify the full mRNA you are already designing the primer in such a way because it is already pretty close to the 5 prime end so it will be a truncated form that's why it is labeled as TR okay so this will be a shorter version of the cDNA or uh, the mRNA that you are interested in studying. Okay. Now you will do PCR with this and you will also use this double stranded DNA product and you will amplify it along with this rare restriction enzyme. So at the end of the uh, PCR, you will be left with this rare restriction enzyme set, usually three restriction enzymes are included. This will be helpful for cloning. We have truncated positive strand and truncated negative strand and here is our primer. Okay, so this can be helpful for cloning. This can be also used for southern blotting. Okay, so that is how you can map the five prime end of the RNA. Okay, so this is right where you have your five prime end of the RNA. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to map the 3 prime end of the RNA. So here we will be staying close to the poly A tail and we will design our primer in a very convenient way. You can use a poly T primer 
along with again those it's a rare restriction sites which can help in our cloning and southern blotting later on it will synthesize the negative strand of the cdna using reverse transcriptase in the next step we will use a primer called 3 prime gene specific primer it will bind to the negatively negative strand of the cdna that we have just synthesized and it will make a positive strand and it will get, go all the way all the way to the restriction enzymes that we have incorporated although they were not present in the original mrna so in now what we will do is we will again make truncated dna this truncated dna will have 3 prime primer information the small plus strand information and the truncated minus strand information along with the restriction enzyme right so this is the basic outlook and what we will end up with is this 3 prime primer along with the plus strand minus strand and the restriction site okay and here will be directly your uh, the transcriptional end site 3 prime end because you can exactly match it because this restriction enzyme will be just synthesized in a complementary fashion so this is your 3 prime end of the rna okay so arrays can be very useful for mapping the 5 prime end as well as 3 prime end of the rna and it is a pretty sensitive and accurate technique as you can see in the pcr amplification steps because of these specific primers and the restriction enzymes that you are using there is almost no chance that you are going to have a mistake in judging the 5 prime end or the 3 prime end of the mrna here is an example of a previous study that was published and here they are interested in mapping the 5 prime end of the rna so this is uh, a tRNA synthetase like protein that they are interested in mapping the tss of they have synthesized these two primers which are upstream of the atg so pretty close to the 5 prime end and using these they have done the 5 prime end race rapid amplification of cdna ends and they have mapped their products and they have seen how it is expressed and then they can even map the size as well as the sequence using sanger sequencing and other methods of sequencing they can map the 5 prime end of the rna pretty easily okay so this was my discussion about 5 prime and 3 prime rays hope you liked it please give the video a thumbs up if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like this thank you for watching and i will see you next time